Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> We worship you, Jesus. We bless your mad name. You are awesome in this place. Thank you, Abba Father. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. Ekarabo sharadi. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. La kasha tala ba 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 suta ni di 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 bush. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise, mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Kirabo shatarati, malikoda ba si telebrehende zikatai, mekotolo bo sotra hande kusinda labai, ma zegele ne mo shanta libra handa ya, ekada ba ba sunta lebrehende sh, ma kia da da ba sunta lebrehendos. Ele kuata la brahande kosai mandele de 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 bo shanta la braha zika tala ba 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 sunte le brehendes ele kuta la ba ba sunta likata rekoto zida da ba 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 shanta lina ya makete riga na masuta la braha oh Jesus zane na 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 mashada ya lion of Judah. The Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. We hail you, we worship you, we hail you, more 
Mostai kababa baba shate de 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 bush rakata tata basi talene ne mosi katai zuka talebrehendo zana kabaya erekete zika talabai makete le de 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 bo sunta labrahandi elekuta labahande ko siana na baha rekoto lodo babo zika tele de de bosha erekono mo suprahandish. Makida baba ba santa lebrehendesh zika tala baba baba ba suta haya leko no 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 mo supraha the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high we hail you o kaya bashatai. We worship you, we hail you, most high. Lion of Judah, the lamb upon the throne, we hail you, most high. Hallelujah. Family, God bless you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Bobby English, God bless you. You are welcome. Mrs. Liddell, God bless you. You are welcome. Mandy Reporter, God bless you. You are welcome. Ia Russ, God bless you. You are welcome. I have missed you all and I'm happy to be with you once again. Hallelujah. God is good. Hi, Daniel Perkins, God bless you, you are welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Adonai. Oh, Jesus. Kerababa baba baba shanti di 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 busha. Zika mama 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 E kala ne si tala brahandi, zokoto rakata na masota latai, zina ma shanta le brahendesh, e kala baba baba sunta le brahandia. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. Elohim Adonai. Ah, Elohim. Eka bana santa lebrehende. Makira ba 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 ba. Makrai always. Zika le de 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 bo shataya. You are makrai always. We miss you to hear us. That's why I pour my love on you. Ela neko shatala baba ya. Family, just worship God for a few seconds. Give Him all the praise. Zana kabaya na namaha. Ele kotora kantele de de bo sita ya bai. Zuka talabra handi ko zana taliada. Erekene me son talibra handish. Rakotolo dobo zika tele de 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 bosha. Makatala baba baba son talibra ha. Eleko siara la bahai. Maketala. Father, we thank you for another opportunity in your presence. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your presence in our midst today. We honor you, Abba Father. We honor you, ancient of days. We honor you, the I am that I am. We give you all the praise. Le kadababa santa labrahaya. Erokotono no no mo sitaya. We thank you for your presence. Because your word says, where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in their midst. Lord, we are here for you. We are gathered here for you. You are the reason why we are here. We pray, oh God, let your presence be manifest today in the name of Jesus. Let your presence be manifest today in the name of Jesus. Let your presence be manifest. Let your presence be manifest. 
horizontally katai marekete zirara bahai i don't know if there are people here you say lord i am tired of my situation lord i am tired i am tired i am tired i need a change something has got to change i am tired of living like this i am tired of living like this i am tired of being unfortunate i am tired of being the unfortunate one i am tired of being the less privileged i am tired of being in a disadvantaged position i am tired i am tired i don't know if there is someone here you say lord i am tired jesus i am tired i am tired of being in this particular situation lord show up for me ke baba baba shanaya show up for me lord i am tired e kara baba ba santa lika dai rekotono no mo sikate mande de 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 bo shanana wa rekotono no 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 mo subrahandia there is always there is a provision for god for people who are tired there is a provision in god for people who are tired there is a provision for people who in god who have who, who, who have they, they, you have gotten enough you say enough of this i am tired of this situation i am tired of my circumstance i am tired i am tired i am tired there is a difference there is a there is a connection between your tiredness and your deliverance there is a connection between your tiredness and your deliverance when you are tired you can make a difference when you are tired the situation will change when you are t- there is a connection which are, of your, there is a connection between your tiredness and your deliverance there is a connection between your tiredness and your deliverance and to as many as say they are tired in this life session and you are ready to make the appropriate moves god is taking you out of that situation in the name of jesus god is changing that situation in the mighty name of jesus god is changing that situation in the mighty name of jesus la kababa sikaladai lekona mama sopra handesha lakida daraba sutaya lekona mama sopra handaya as you are tired god is making a way for you god is delivering you from that unfortunate circumstance in the mighty name of jesus we learned i learned that there are two kinds of people in the yet realm there are people who, who operate by favor and there are people who operate by hard work there are people who naturally good things gravitate towards them naturally their lives are easy there are people who have it easy there are people who have it easy in life there are people who have natural favor natural favor they are born blessed there are people who are born blessed and they don't really have to struggle they just have to do one or two things and you see they start they start the results start coming in and there are others that you have to toil you have to you i mean you have to work hard before you can get a particular result and, and, and all of them you just have to know your place and accept who you are you just have to know your place and accept who you are accept Acceptance is one of the first stages to us changing your life. When you tell yourself this is who I am. This is my this is my my situation. This is where I find myself. You know when you deny certain things you don't fix it. It is not everything that you deny and that works out well. You have to accept your position, accept your reality, then decide to change it for the better. You have to accept that you are not a fortunate person. In case you are here and you are fortunate, you are blessed, you are graced for certain things thanks be to god what you what do you have to do if you are graced you have been graced and you do not have to struggle so hard to 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 achieve your thing to achieve certain things you have to take advantage of that grace that has been made available for you you have to take advantage of that grace that has been made available to you and you have to dare big things if you are the kind of person that the, your things come easily if you are the kind of person who operates by favor you know the favor of the lord is manifest in your life you know 
that, you know, you just have to touch it. There is something they call the Midas touch. Anything you touch becomes gold. If you have that kind of favor, what do you do? You have to dare big things. You have to dare to do the impossible because you know there is a special grace that is backing you up and that is going to work. So if you are here, you have a special grace for whatsoever field. You have a special grace. I don't know whether it has to do with your job. I don't know if it has to do with family or business, but you just know that when you get involved in a particular thing, it works out. You have to start trying better things. You have to start trying more things to get good results. Hallelujah. If you have grace that is speaking for you, if you have the favor of God that is backing up your life, you have to try greater things. You have to try more things. You have to dare to do big things. But if you are here and you say you don't have that kind of a favor, if you are here and your own life is not backed by such favor because there are people who do not have that kind of favor and there are people God puts in a particular place because he wants to remove, remove the best in you. You are not disadvantaged. You just have to know what you are and how you can make your life better. You just have to know your, 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 your identity in the realms of the spirit and you have to find out how you can make it better. So uh, 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 realizing that you are, you know, there were two, there were two brothers. There were two brothers in the Bible, Esau and Jacob. Genesis chapter 27 from verse 36 to 40. Esau and Jacob, there came a time when Isaac wanted to bless his children because he wanted to, he, it was time for him to transition. So he had to bless his children. He had to bless his children. And he told the older son because he, but, but he knew that the older son deserved to be blessed. He said, go and prepare a garrison for me so that I will eat and my soul will bless you. Go and prepare something for me. There is a connection between the blessing. And, there is a connection between the, the, the blesser and what you have in your hands. Sometimes, what you have in your hands is what guarantees the blessings. He says that I would eat, my soul shall be full and I would bless you. There are times that you want someone to bless you and you go before them with a gift. The Bible says the gift of a man make it way for him. When you identify that this person has a gift for you, this person has a blessing for you, you do not go to them empty handed. You go to them carrying the gifts because you know that this gift will make room for you. And especially if if you know what they would like, if you know that they would like this, you go to them with a gift. This is just a tip for life. You go to them with that particular gift. They cannot withhold the blessing because their soul will be happy to receive it. And so Jacob told, uh, uh, and so Isaac told Esau, go and get me this garrison. I want to eat. I want to be in a happy place when I bless you because it's going to work. And why uh, Esau went to the field to look for a garrison and uh, Rebecca had over I heard the conversation between Jake, uh, between uh, uh, Esau and Isaac. And because she remembered the prophecy that God had given to his two, to her two children, she decided to outsmart Esau. She decided to outsmart Esau, prepare that same kind of meal and gave it to Jacob to take to the father. And when the father ate, he decided to bless. He was confused somehow. He said, eh, 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 the voice is like that of my son Jacob, but the body, the skin is and 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 the and the and the, uh, the, the, the the fragrance from your body is like that of my son Esau. And nevertheless, he released a blessing. He released the blessing. I want to call a blessing because that was all there was. He released the blessing upon Jacob. And when Esau came, he asked, he, he went to his father for a blessing and his father cried and said, oh my son, I already gave it to your brother. I gave it to him because he tricked me. I did not know he was your brother. And, and, and and Esau began to cry. He said, Father, this is the second time he's doing this to me. This is the second time he's doing this to me. What can I do? Is there not a blessing for me, oh my father? Is there not a blessing for me? Let's read what, what Isaac, verse 10, Genesis chapter 26 from verse Genesis 27, rather, 27. 
from verse 36, it says, And Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he, for he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. And now, look, he has taken away my blessing. And he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Then Isaac answered and said to Esau, Indeed, I have made him your master. And all his brethren I have given to him as servants. With grain and wine I have sustained him. What shall I do? Now for you, my son. And Esau said to his father, Have you only one blessing, my father? Bless me, me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be with the fatness of the earth. Your, 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 behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth. And of the dew of the heaven from above. By your sword you shall live. And you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass. When you, when, when you become restless. It shall come to pass. When you become restless. That you shall break the yoke from your neck. When you are tired of your situation. When you are tired of your circumstance. You are going to break. The yoke of your neck. I like how the Living Bible puts a particular part. Let me read that from the Living Bible. It says, Yours will, will be, Yours will be no life of ease and luxury. He says you will not have a life of ease and luxury. So there are people, when I read this, I got to understand. He says you will not have a life of Peace and luxury, but you shall heal your way with your sword. For a time, for a time, you will serve your brother. And when you are restless, you are going to break free from his yoke. You will not, there are people who have a life of ease and luxury. If you look around you, you are going to realize that there are people who have a life of ease and luxury. There are people that things happen to them easily, cheaply. And maybe you have been asking yourself, why I my own things like that? Maybe you do not have a life of ease and luxury. Maybe, you know, there are two kinds of people, like I said. There are people who, are, who operate under the kind of, uh, of, 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 of life of Jacob. That is a life of ease and luxury. Oh, when the father said, how did you get this thing so easily, my son? How did you get it easy? He said, the Lord your God put it on my path. So there are people that God just put things on their path. They have a life of ease and luxury. And there are people who have to work hard. They have to work hard to be able to get that which God has promised them. They have to work hard. All I, I say to you again, child of God, all you have to do is know where you are standing. All you have to do is know where you are coming from, what you are backed by. Do you have a life of ease and luxury? Or God will only bless you when you, when you put in the work. When you discover where you are standing, you are halfway through the journey. When you discover that my own life is not easy, I have to work hard to get the things that God has blessed me. You are already halfway to getting it because you know the principles that you have to do to get in it. When you understand where your stand is, then you know. When you are determined, when you are determined to break that yoke off your neck, that is the beginning of your blessings. That is the beginning. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When you are tired, you are going to break free from it. You are going to break free from it. Hannah, Hannah, the, God says that, the Bible says that God had shot the womb of Hannah. And every day she will come to Shiloh. Every time she will come to Shiloh to pray. It was just a custom. Like some of you, every time you come to this live session and you are praying with us and it's just a custom and a tradition that you have to appear before the Lord. She was barren and her co-wife had children cheaply. Penina had so many children and she did not even struggle to have them. But she did not have a child. And every time she will come to pray to God, but this time around, she told herself, I am tired of my struggle. 
I am tired of this situation. It is high time I struck a deal with God. God, it will not come to me easy. It will not come to me like it came to, like it comes to my co-wife, Benina. I've got to get into a deeper realm of negotiations with God. I've got to cut a deal with God. I cannot just wait and hope that one day I'm going to wake up and get pregnant like Penina. I've got to get into a negotiation table. I've got to sit on a negotiation table with God. She prayed this one time until the priest said she was drunk. It means it was not usual. She would not normally do this. But she was tired of her circumstance. She was tired of her situation. Oh, like her Baba Baba Shaddai. And like Esther, she said, if I perish, I perish. This has got to change. If I perish, I perish. This has got to change. If I perish, I perish. This has got to change. I don't know if there is someone here. You say, I am tired of my situation. I am tired. If I perish, I perish. Oh God, this is high time you've got to answer me. You have to answer me this time. And Hannah said, Lord, I am getting on the table of negotiation with you. If only you would bless me with a son, then I would give you a priest. If you would bless me with a son, I am going to give it back to you. She prayed until it seemed as though she was, she was drunk. And the priest even thought she was drunk. That is when, that is when you get to a point that even your system tells you if you do not make a change if you do not make a move you are going to die like that if you do not make a step your situation would not change every year you will come to Shiloh every day you will come for programs every day you will attend life sessions but nothing will change when you realize that you are of that generation that has to put in the work you have to pray you have to take dangerous steps of faith you have to get on a negotiation table with God. You have to, hey, and he says, by the sweat, you shall live by the sword. It means that anything you do not ask from God, do not, do not, do not get ready to, to do not, do not, do not, do not uh, expect to have it. You have to be intentional with your life. You have to be intentional. I tell you the truth. I know of people in my life that they are graced for certain things. They do not have to do much to be able to operate in those dimensions. They are graced for certain things. They are graced. They are graced. They have favor. They operate by favor. And I realize that I, I, I have aspects in my life I am graced for as well. They are things I don't struggle to have. They are things that God himself has covenanted himself to make them available to me. God has covenanted himself to make them available to me. But there are certain things that I know it will not come to me cheaply. But if I, I could accept that is my reality, I could just, you know, when you accept that this is your reality, you go hard after it. But when you keep living in denial, some of you, you are living in denial. You think that you, 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 you share the same life as that of your brother. You think your life is the same like that of your neighbor. You are in denial of your real identity. You are in denial. Guess what? Uh, it, it seems like Esau was cursed when his father was praying for him, right? It seems like he was cursed when his father was releasing the blessing on him. But not quite. Not quite. His father gave him an escape for the curse. His father gave an escape. He says, by, by your sword, you shall live. By your sword, he says that you shall dwell in the in. Uh, in. Let's get that scripture. Mark it up, Baba Shatai. Thank you, Jesus. He says, "Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth." It means when you walk hard, you are going to reap. But if you do not work hard, there will be nothing for you. Your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of the heaven. It means I am going to back your effort. When you put in the hard work, it will not be in vain. So you have to understand that you, Daniel Perkins, have got to put in the hard work and God will back it up. There are others that sit where they are and certain things come to meet them. But you have to understand your own position. You have to understand how God will bless you. To some, it will meet them where they are. And to others, it, you, you, you've got to work towards it. You've got to put in the work. You've got to pray. You've got to plant connection seeds. You've got to meet someone that has been in a similar position like you that operates 
operates under hard work and not necessarily under on, 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 under under grace or under favor. You have to meet somebody that 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 had an unfortunate past that came from a family of nobodies. If you're trying to 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 build wealth, you're trying to build wealth in your life, and you come from a family that had nothing. Maybe you are of the first generation. What you have to do is look for a similar person. It can be a mentor, someone that has treaded on that same path as you, someone that left from a nobody and built an estate and became a somebody. If you're believing God for something, that you have to look around you and see the people that were in the same challenge as you, and somehow they broke forth. Somehow they had a different testimony and go to them and ask them, what did you do? Do you know what Esau did when he was in this situation? He ran to Ishmael. He ran to Ishmael and he took up wives from the, from, from the children of Ishmael. Why did he run to Ishmael? Because Ishmael was in a similar situation as him. Ishmael was in a similar situation. Ishmael was a child that was not blessed. He was not the promised child. As a matter of fact, he was rejected and abandoned to die in the wilderness. He was rejected. He was sent away. And yet Ishmael grew and was so blessed. And so Esau said, I will go to someone that understands my pain. Someone that was rejected. Someone that was abandoned to die in the wilderness and yet became great. He went and associated himself with Ishmael and he was so blessed. You remember the time when uh, 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 Jacob was going to meet Esau and he sent his family ahead with gifts. And when they got to Esau, Esau said, it's okay, you can keep your gifts. I have enough. At the end of the day, Esau was so blessed. So blessed. But that was someone that was operating under a curse. That was someone that his father did not have any blessing anymore for him. I don't know how tired are you about your situation. But it's high time you stopped complaining and get into work. It's high time you do a reality test. A reality check and understand where you fall. Whether you are operating by favor or you are operating by hard work. You have to do a reality test, reality check. Stop living in denial. Stop thinking that the life of A, that is the way it is, is your life. You've got to accept your reality and try to change it. If you do not accept this is my reality, there is no way you are changing it. If you do not bring yourself and if you do not tell yourself, this is who I am, you cannot change it. The way, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in this live session. Somebody, you are breaking free from that yoke in the name of Jesus. You are breaking free from that yoke of bondage. You are breaking free from that yoke of limitation. You are breaking free. You are breaking free. You are breaking free. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are changing the status quo. You are changing your deliverance is coming. You are breaking free in the name of Jesus. You are breaking free in the name of Jesus. You are breaking free from that yoke of bondage. You are breaking free in the mighty name of Jesus. Shania. You are breaking free from that yoke of bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. That yoke of slavery that has been on your neck, you are breaking free from it in the mighty name of Jesus. That yoke of slavery that you have been operating by, you are breaking free in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, Zakada Baba Baba Bashaya, Elana Masotaya, that yoke of limitation, Rekapala Kotai, Eruka Namamaya, you are breaking free, you are breaking free, you are breaking free as you make up your mind and you are determined. The same thing that happened to Esau is happening to you. You shall be blessed even more than those that were called favored in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be more blessed even more than those that were called graced in the mighty name of Jesus 
Marakatalabaya, Zika de 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 Bushanai, Reketelebele Kosha, Marikata, Eyadaba Shadaya. I pray for someone. You shall share a similar testimony like Hannah. Ega Baba Baba Shanai, Rakate, as you are tired of your situation and you are taking appropriate steps. God is meeting you in the name of Jesus. God is meeting you halfway in the name of Jesus. He is breaking you free from the life of solitude. He is breaking you free from the life of solitude. He is breaking you free from the life of singlehood. He is breaking you free from the life of homelessness. From the life of homelessness. He is breaking you free. You are breaking free. Rekadabaya. Lord, somebody cry out to God. Say, Lord, I am tired of this situation. Cry out to God. Write it in the comment section. Say, Lord, I am tired. It might not be common. You, there are certain things that you have not found it in your lineage. You have not found it in your lineage, and you are, but you want to experience it in your life. It is not common in your family to have this thing, but you want to experience it. Say, Lord, I am tired of this. I am tired of this. I am tired of this. God is uplifting the curse. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. God is removing that curse that you have been operating under. That your family has been operating under. That has acted as a limited factor. God is removing you. Leka mama masubrahande. Zigalaba. Baba Shadai, Rekonononono Mosi Prahande, Zakalada, I join my faith with yours, Rakataya Baha, Elana Masotaya. I am giving you one minute to tell the Lord I am tired of this situation. I am tired of this particular thing I have been going through. I am tired of this thing, oh God. I need a change. I am tired. I am tired. I need an escape from this life of suffering. I need an escape from this life of being alone. I need an escape of this life of managing. I need an escape. Lord, I am tired. Rakashai, makede de debo shanai, rekatadaba sikalate, erukadaba baba Lord, I am tired of this situation. I need a change. I need a change. I need a change in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, you are breaking free. Oh, somebody, you are breaking free. You are breaking free from that yoke of limitation. He says that when you get tired, you shall break the, the yoke. When you get tired of your situation, you shall break the yoke. Somebody, you are breaking that yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. You are breaking that yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. You are breaking that yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. You are breaking that yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for breaking the yoke of limitation. Oh, lucky Baba Bashanta. Thank the Lord somebody because you are breaking that yoke. You are escaping from that curse. You are escaping from that curse. You are escaping from that curse. Lega Baba Bashante. You are escaping from that curse. Lika da Baba Bashanta Lebrehendesh. Ziga de 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 Boshanaya. You are escaping from that curse. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. You are escaping. Escaping from that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. You are escaping from that curse. Laka baba baba shadai. Reke ne 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 mo si da 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 ba hai. Ma ke da 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 ba sunta libra handi. Le ko da ba 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 sunta libra ha. You are escaping from that curse in the mighty name of Jesus. You are breaking the yoke. You are breaking the yoke. You are breaking the yoke. Zika la baba baba shadai. Oh, nake ba 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 soprehendish. Make da ba 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 soprehendikatai. 
male ko zupra handi de de bushatai ela na mama sopra handa ya yes lord yes lord geba na ko sopra handish Yes, Jesus, you are breaking free from that curse. You are breaking free from that curse in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, glorious God. Thank you, Jesus. You're breaking free. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, on Cash App. I pray that you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry. Those who are giving donations, I pray, oh God, may you bless their donations, multiply their harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who are planting seeds, connecting to the prophetic prayers, I connect you to your seed. May the Lord honor your giving in the name of Jesus. Those who are planting seeds and connecting to God, break Oh God, break the yoke. I connect you to your seed. May the Lord break the yoke of limitation in your life. In the name of Jesus. Those who are planting seed and saying, Lord, I am tired of this struggle. I connect you to your seed. May the Lord honor your giving. May he honor your giving. May he honor your giving in the name of Jesus. Yes, those planting seeds of thanksgiving. I pray that God will honor your thanksgiving blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor your thanksgiving see Jesus. Yes, those planting seeds connecting to, I am tired of my situation. I connect you to your seed. May the Lord honor your giving. Oh, connecting to, I need a miracle. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord honor your giving and show up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bless your name, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for breaking the yoke of limitation. We thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes to the sacred to breaking free from the life of struggle. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes to how we can walk out of a life of struggle and how we can change the status quo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Those connecting to change my story, I connect you to your seed. May the Lord change your story and give you a new testimony in the name of Jesus. Are you connecting to the yoke is broken off your life? I connect you to your seed. Lana Mashadaya. Let God honor your giving and let the yoke be broken off your life permanently in the mighty name of jesus let's take our daily declarations together the favor of the lord is upon me my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits the favor of the lord is upon me my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits the favor of the lord is upon me my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits in the mighty name of jesus In the mighty name of Jesus.
God bless all our first timers. If this is the first time you're joining our life, a special welcome to you. Thank you for joining. Please check to see if you're already a part of this family. That is, if you're already subscribed. If not, please go ahead and subscribe. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell. So that whenever we, we are live, you're going to be notified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please touch the like button if you're yet to do that already. The rooster says hi. Please touch the like button if you're yet to do that already. Give a video a thumbs up if you are yet to do that. Yes, those who are still connecting to the connecting on Cash App, I escaped the life of a curse. I connect you to your seed. May the Lord honor your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are blessed of God. You are blessed of God. Those who have paid their tithes on PayPal, on Cash App, God bless your tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that he rebukes the devourer over your income and that he opens the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bonds will not be able to contain. Please, family, whenever you pay your tithe, always indicate this is my tithe so that you receive a tithe as prayer. It is very important. Don't just send money without attaching anything to anything to it if it is your tithe kindly indicate god bless you mightily in the name of jesus i love you family i would see you in our next live session as god gives me grace until then have an amazing an amazing evening those who are going to sleep right now may they, may god be with you tonight and protect you may you have angelic visitations in the name of jesus Amen. Hallelujah. Those who are starting your day, your day is blessed in the name of Jesus. Your day is blessed in the name of Jesus. Your day is blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, family. Bye-bye. Shalom, shalom, shalom.